Hey everyone, welcome to Real Knowledge Club Summit. Today we have a truly a fascinating guest who is none other than like Karthik Naidu, who is a sales automation expert. He helps business owners, coaches, consultants with sales and automation. He's like CEO of My Pipeline, and also he's the founder of um, some of the best companies in India, right? Like um, he's also the founder of like. Um, the white petals chain of schools right i met him in the freedom business retreat event which was hosted by siddha trashekar our mentor at chennai right and he he has totally helped like more than 5000 members in his paid community in his group and has generated a revenue of more than 5 crores and is also the crore club member right he's some of the best automation experts in our country right his integrity transparency and simplicity inspires us without any further delay i want to welcome karthik naidu and all of you guys make sure that like you bring your diary book and take notes take massive notes take action implement and make a world a better place to live let's get started it will be easily 10 lakhs plus okay so per year that's a recurring base uh, but if you look at uh, the investments that we make on ourselves is what makes you actually the true person okay mm. it's not about thinking that okay i'm paying 10 lakh rupees for this mastermind and what am i getting from there that's not the point absolutely yeah it's about being in the zone and just understanding what other people are doing and how you can actually contribute first to the mastermind and then take something back from there. Got it, so got just it. Just because you pay something to somebody doesn't mean that, okay, they owe the world to us. No, not, not at all. You just pay to be in that zone, okay? But you need to first be a giver. You need to give the people in that mastermind, give them what it requires and then take that energies, take their ideas to scale it up. So I feel uh, India is just getting started with masterminds like the way yes. we are doing it even even i'm launching uh, my own masterminds which is called the platinum club right oh, so nice can, platinum I, can you tell us more about what's that like platinum club <laughs> yeah so platinum club is is one mastermind that i'm creating for entrepreneurs which will combine like most of the things like when you say about the mindset okay what an entrepreneur requires to be successful so platinum club is all about mindset it's about the system that is a SaaS. It is about the strategies and it's about the marketing. Hmm. So these are the four things that anybody needs to succeed. It's to have a great mindset, have a great system. Like my pipeline community has one of the strongest systems in India right now. And third is about how can we really have the right marketing techniques to get people. And fourth one is also the community, like how we, how we can build our own world. Okay, because I'll, I'll share with one thing with you, Akshay, is uh, yes. recently one of our members asked me a question. I do this Q&A in our community. Okay. They asked me one question like, uh, Karthik, so what is the future of retail business in India? Mm -hmm. Like who has a shop, who has a supermarket? What do you think about the future of them? And it was a very interesting question. And I told them, if you look at the pattern of Swiggy, how they're expanding, they're expanding through Instamart. Mm -hmm. And how Instamart works is, you just have like a go down, okay? And you store all the FMCG, that's your Coke, your daily use items. And if you open the Swiggy app, you go check out Instamart, you can order even 50 rupee worth of goods, which will be delivered to you. So what is going to happen to the individual businesses then, right? Mm -hmm. The biggest mm -hmm. question to that is, they need to create their own ecosystem. They need right. to create their own customer base. Let's say I have a retail shop, I have a boutique and I don't have to worry about what other brands are selling. I just need to worry upon my 15 or 20 clients who are with me. How can I really add value to them? Give great quality at great price so that they never leave me. So the future of any business retail is about building your own ecosystem. Uh, building your own world is, is your future. I think that's what I observed. And if you want to be there, then you need to be in the learning zone. If you don't invest on yourself to learn, I mean, it's not just that I, I, give, I sell my courses, but it's also that I invest to learn from others. 
okay and that is something that's very underrated if you're an entrepreneur if you're not in masterminds of any anywhere or if you're not learning then actually you're not growing okay believe me the right. power of that is very much absolutely it's like uh, we always have to be investing on ourselves like upgrading ourselves and we pay it for the speed right like the faster we can execute the things true that's right yeah and as you said like um, like what do you see after like you helping so many business owners what is the common mistakes they do right like what are the five or like 10 common mistakes most coaches consultants business owners do which you see and like you are helping them with great so i'll give you a few pointers i'm not prepared yeah. i'm going to give you yeah. still like at least a five pointers let's see how it goes uh, yeah. so the biggest mistake when i see entrepreneurs that they make is uh, first is they don't have a structured business model hmm. okay point number 1 that means they know they're doing business but they not they do not understand which is the product that sells more which is the product that sells less hmm. okay so first is the business model second one maybe too much of products which is getting them overwhelmed or not giving them a direction of what to sell what not to sell it's just like the story of the founder right when mcdonald started they had some 48 items in their menu and the first yes. thing that was done by ray crock was to bring it down to about four mm -hmm. items mm -hmm. so i think having too many products too many services and not knowing which is the usp is the second common mistake i'm looking at the third common mistake is about the mindset Mm. Okay, the mindset is all about thinking that I know it all. Mm. I've mm. done this. I know I've built this business, and, and and I'm like really good. And they don't realize that what business they built is like a small <coughs> dust. Yeah. Okay, it's a very small dust in the business world. Okay, businesses are called as medium enterprise now if they are above forty crores. Okay. Right. So mm. small businesses are under forty crore SME. So yeah. you technically. are not even like got started on as a small business if you're not doing that much of revenue if you're doing above medium enterprise you have a bigger teams to build it but most of the small business owners solopreneurs they feel they know it all i think that's the biggest mistake and next is not following and investing on marketing mm. okay people don't invest money on marketing and my biggest challenge and biggest problem is why i always tell this quote uh, to a lot of business owners is trying to save money to not spend on marketing is like stopping the clock to save time yeah. <laughs> it's like you want to save time you go stop the clock and feel like oh nice i'm going to save time it is not you're actually doing nothing so if you don't spend on marketing your business is never going to grow there is so much of opportunity for ads today and so much of revenues we invest heavily on marketing right because mm -hmm. we know we need to reach organic is kind of gone no platform is ready to give for free they want money from you so spend mm -hmm. that money give them 1 rupee make 5 rupees out of it okay that's a common mistake not putting on marketing and the fifth fifth mistake i look at is they don't have a business structure okay they don't mm -hmm. they don't have a clear customer journey that they have that means they don't have a proper opt in form itself in a business mm hmm they have everything website everything how to contact uh, click on the button and call us or you fill the form it will go to them and they'll see it after one day and this is the mm. biggest challenge i'm looking at business owners and that's where i actually tell them that you need to have a good opt in form you need to have a good automation in the back end so even if you are not present midnight 2 am somebody enquires about your brand they should go a welcome email go saying that hey we've received your enquiry so our team is going to get in touch with you Like that a proper one, system has to be there. Hmm. Absolutely, have a structured system is what it is. We'll go for five more, okay? So that's yes. the fifth one and sixth one. What I notice with business owners is uh, they they don't have time. Hmm. Okay, they say I don't have time, and I'll be like, oh, that's fantastic. But what do you do? And they're like, oh, yeah. you know what? I start from morning till night. I'm full busy. I say you will be busy because you're not doing anything about it. you're going to be busy mm -hmm. for the rest of your life if you can automate few things if you can build a good team can take care you will have a lot of time do you yes. think like jeff bezos or mukesh ambani is sitting down and looking at every part of their business no no you got to build teams you got to build leaders 
don't be busy be productive and the seventh seven, uh, and the sixth one what i notice with entrepreneurs is the money management okay so mm. the money management is a big problem that means they sell the products the payment is not coming and they like how do i collect payments how do i do this they're panicking so they don't have the clarity on when to give and how to collect the payment and seventh one the biggest challenge you know what it is these people itself don't pay properly to others mm -hmm. seventh challenge when you don't make payment on time to others do not expect payment to come to you on time okay right. and what i'm how sharing with so, you so will you reap <laughs> absolutely <laughs> they say payment in ayar hai first you give payment then the payment will come okay and uh, coming to the ninth part as entrepreneurs the common mistakes i look at is just like being all around the place they like learn from here they learn from here they learn from here they learn from here and they watch everybody's free content and they get confused and go nowhere mm. so i always say that pick one system everybody have created their own unique system right siddharth rajshekar has unique right. system okay so rohan can rohan pratham can have unique i have a unique system somebody else rajiv talija could have a unique system somebody else has unique system sit down and analyze all these which is suitable for you first hmm. and if 5000 entrepreneurs thousands of entrepreneurs have gone through that system it's a very powerful system yes understand leave everything follow one person one system until you succeed okay yeah. and the 10th and the most important mistake that i see with entrepreneurs is no value and integrity mm -hmm. because business is all about profits and making money that is how mm -hmm. we all have been programmed for us what is business buy it at higher cost buy it at lesser cost sell it at sell higher it cost, at higher cost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the person who buys it i don't care i got my profit i'm out of this so i think that value system and integrity is something that i've learned from my mentor Siddharth Raj Chakar is where so being the right? yeah absolutely yeah. have that value if your product and service is not adding value to somebody else's life if your product and serving is, pro product or service is not serving anybody's need then scrap that product you don't need world doesn't need that hmm. sell that is high quality stuff get your results tangible and if you can't measure your success of your customers that only means that you are making the biggest mistake you need to measure how it has changed their life and how you have impacted their life you need to know the measurement and this inspires you to the go, go to the next step that's incredible and if i ask you what is the code of honor like you follow in your company see <laughs> or like being and see yeah. of my pipeline as a sales automation expert what's the yeah. standard you have set for your customers team members absolutely i can give you like uh, the five different code of honors that i follow the first code of honor that i look at just give me a moment okay let me like sure. quickly like grab that to share with you so that yeah. i don't tell you random ones but give you specifically my five systems that i follow i call yes. this even like the success principles okay mm -hmm. i call it the code of honor or the success principles if you want to be successful in life you need to do five things especially mm -hmm. in the modern era of building a business through the technology you need to be independent mm -hmm. you cannot depend on everybody to actually do spoon feed as in every step i'm not understanding can somebody teach me no you got to yeah. be a researcher you got to be independent second one is you got to be a deep learner because only when you understand something on a deeper level how that process works is where you get result third mm -hmm. one is fast implementer implement as quick as possible because world is changing very fast you will not be able to catch up if you don't do it today and mm. fourth one is be a believe that you are a super technical person because a lot of people think i am not technical yeah karthik i am not technical i don't know you know what even i am not a coder okay <laughs> if you think about it <laughs> so the point is uh, you don't yeah. have to be like what is the definition of a technical person there's no definition mm. right for a coder he will say i'm non technical looking at a person who is like a pro level coder mm. and if you see a person who has no idea will say i'm non technical so the point mm. is about your belief if you believe 
that I'm technical, I can handle and build systems easily. That means you are a technical person. Otherwise, if you don't validate, nobody's going to validate for you. And fifth one is the golden triangle, which I personally believe is learn, do and teach. Always learn, don't stop. Second is implement that in real life. Because what you learn and what you do is not same. You will learn a lot when you actually get, get your hands on. And third one is teach people because great leaders have been are there as leaders because they're able to communicate well with their teams, with their students and with the world. If you can do these three things, you'll be super successful. That's amazing. It's like first learn it, apply it and then share it with like your audience and customers. Yeah. And my next question, Karthik, to you is like, I see a lot of people, some people tell this person is copying, he copied my idea. He's now what I see a very common thing in coaching and consulting thing is many people try to teach the same thing. It's like the sales funnel, like example, like Russell Branson came up with this click funnels. He started the movement like Sam Owen started the movement of consulting. Right. And as even Siddharth tells, it's all about the authenticity, like how we are, like we will never run out of like trainers, coaches and this thing. But I see some big coaches also who are telling some people steal my stuff, copy my stuff, something like that. What's your take on that? Because at the end of the day, like ABCD is going to be ABCD no matter who teaches it. One person tells A for Apple, another person tells A for uh, aeroplane, right? What's your take on that based on uh, I copying always and modeling? This- yeah, I always tell one thing, Akshay, is uh, anybody can copy me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't have a problem. I keep telling that. There are a lot of people who even like take the content of what I create because I am so sure that my content is 100% original. Because mm-hmm. the point is you can never find it anywhere because I never Google, I don't do anything. I bring thoughts from my ideas and create it. That's my personal approach because I strongly believe no matter what I'm learning, but when I teach it, I want that originality to be there but i don't Mm. expect the same from everybody even if somebody is taking the content uh the only one thing i would feel is is a good way to do it is to attribute that to somebody else so if somebody is taking a concept from frank kern somebody is learning from russell brunson somebody is learning from robert kiyosaki just tell that i learned from this person and this is what is the concept the moment you say that actually you become bigger than what you think Mm-hmm. And people start looking at you like a learner. They'll be like, oh, this guy's learned from this person, this person. And I think attributing can make everything more, more awesome for you as a person. And even in case, let's say that you don't attribute, you try to show that it's my content. Uh, the only thing is you will still be like kind of a follower to somebody else. Right. So as a creator, I am not insecure because I know what I've created yesterday is not my permanent thing. I'm still going to create today, tomorrow, day after, right? I'm constantly going to evolve and create. So anybody who who uses the content will always be a follower rather than uh, looking at a content creator. So you ask yourself what you want to be. Okay, you want to be a creator, create it yourself. If you want to be a follower and you want to teach it, attribute that and say that I'm learning from this person. This is the concept that's taught from that person and I'm teaching it to you. And believe me, your students, your followers on your social media handles will really appreciate you for doing that. Okay, and that builds a genuine trust with your market. So I think that's my take on it. You, you, you look at and model, attribute, Otherwise, you create. There's only two ways to be successful and genuine in this industry. Absolutely. Somewhere we have to start and give the credits. It's like, okay, yeah. right? Like to our mentors, whatever we That's have okay. done. See, I, have, I can see a beautiful book next to you. Good to great. Huh. Jim Collins. Yeah. Yes. What a fantastic <laughs> book that is, right? I mean, it tells like, yeah. it, it, the book talks about how a person can go from good to great, right? If you want to be great, you got to have values and system. Uh, if you want to be good, you can you can just be good anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's completely opposite the good and the great, right? Like great yes. people do uh, amazing things. And yeah. yeah, Karthik, now the question is, as you said, like some of the top 10 mistakes, people don't invest in marketing and like they don't like to invest. Now, as a business owner, coach, consultant, what I see many people is they tell like we ourselves don't make money. We only make like 30,000 or 50,000 per month and software itself costs like 15, 20,000. 
right what, how did you uh, scale it like did you gradually scale it or like you took a loan and like you started to invest in your paid advertisement or like you went for some funding does anybody has funded your uh, business or like how did it start because everybody has to start from zero right <laughs> right a uh, very very interesting question akshay i'll tell you how i did it but before that there's yeah. a law of the universe yeah. okay you know how the world and universe works is first you need to give Mm. then you're going to receive yes okay mm. so but the biggest challenge is you will tell your business that you pay me first then i will mm. invest on you mm. that is against the law of the universe you cannot do that you cannot go to your business and tell give me money first and then i'll invest on you yeah. it doesn't work like that you <laughs> need to invest on your business then your business will give you return okay exactly is the same what i did uh, i did use some resources the world is big and there are some beautiful banking instruments like credit cards loans uh, when i started this training and coaching i i started with zero i didn't have a single rupee invested okay. on this i started with just 600 rupees per day budget on ads mm. okay and i did a webinar i got like one product sold in my first webinar 5000 rupees came and i made like 3000 rupees profit i took that 5000 rupees again i invested all 5000 increased the budget to 800 the next okay. webinar i got some 3 so i got 15000 rupees okay 5000 product so i again invested that 2200 and today as i'm speaking to you so we have a daily budget of minimum uh, 30 to 35000 rupees every single day oh my god that's crazy <laughs> okay so that's and in the marketing world i'll tell you it's nothing okay yeah. so when you listen to it you'll be like oh my god 10 lakhs a month but we make much more like uh, by uh, compared to the investment but uh, i know that still the marketing budget that we are not even looking at bigger companies doing right mm. we always feel like oh that is a big amount it's not if you go to check out any multinational companies like bigger companies they invest millions of dollars every day okay on marketing to grow the brand so that's the bandwidth of the business that you can build okay so i believe that you can start small nothing wrong in it the only f- formula that you need to follow is is reinvesting back into your business okay 6 months 1 year stop everything whatever you get invest 50 60% back on marketing and uh, live your life with that 50% pay everything for whatever is required and take it to a target that you need to invest at least 15 20000 a day on marketing i'm not telling to make money i'm telling you you need to have a targets to invest on your business also A lot of people don't look at it that way. They think that how much target should I get? But if you start looking at how much I can invest, fifteen thousand rupees. If you have to get there, you might take six months, eight months, one year. But make it happen because by the time you do this, you would have actually grown your business to multiple bigger lakhs. Forty, fifty, sixty lakhs would be nothing for you to reach when you can actually invest ten lakh rupees on your business. Okay, it's a dynamic, and for this you need to be in the zone of achievers. you need to be with people even when i'm telling right now you might not get connected you might like what karthik is talking 10 lakh rupees is telling to invest in marketing but i'll tell you in my circle of looking at that actually there are people who do more than this okay so for me i always look up to okay that person is investing so much on in marketing i want to be there so if you want to be the next level be with the people who are already doing what you wish to do like robert kiyosaki tells right if you want to get somewhere in life find a person Who's been there and done it? You find that person, follow that, you'll reach that. Absolutely, like that circle, right? Even I have heard of this. Uh, like you are the average of five people whom you surround yeah. yourself with, right? And I believe in the masterminds which you are there, probably everybody is like spending ten, fifteen lakhs at least easily, on the paid advertisement, <laughs> right? Yeah. and uh, what i see is many people uh, stick to the organic itself they don't want to transition they have some fear initially they lose some 10000 20000 and they are like ads are not working what do you want to tell them <laughs> the big advice i'll give you is get detached from money hmm. okay the day you stop having emotional connect with money is the day you can actually build a real business A lot of people are actually emotionally connected to the money they feel they feel scared of money okay mm-hmm. in money there are three stages okay one is okay. you actually look at the money and you say that you fear the money so you are mm-hmm. money fearing okay that means you are like uh, you're scared where will i lose the money second stage is where you become friends with money 
that means you're like hey i'm going to invest i'm going to get back okay and third is where you dominate the money like mm. literally you control the numbers so if you want to be there any one of the stages you are in you're fearing the money it's fine we all have been there you become friends with money your kind of investment return guy or uh, person that's fine but your ultimate goal should be that you control the numbers by detaching yourself emotionally because these numbers what you're seeing in your bank account believe me uh, if everybody in the world tries to encash that number there is no enough money because the bank interest rates are like shooting up 40 42% in credit card and if you look at if everybody tries to withdraw the num amount that is showing in the bank account in reality there is no so much money so get detached from money don't have that emotional connect and uh, slowly treat them treat them separately as numbers like how you have a game kind okay it, you might feel at the moment that how can people treat like that for money but you will get to a stage there once you start getting that consistent income you actually don't don't really like have emotional connect today there's only two sales come in you don't panic tomorrow five come in you don't panic even 10 comes in you'll be like it's fine it's a part of the game so i think getting to that level is the three stages and wherever you are there in the three stages always aim at uh, getting detached emotionally because you make more sales you're happy you make less sales you're sad you make no sales you start judging yourself am i doing the right thing should i change the care not required everybody have zero sales right so even if you've not made a sale sit back relax trust in the process keep a term of implementation don't think one webinar one product one service i'll sell think about six month term and that mm, that will make yes. the difference absolutely our four main focus for the starting three to six months is like reinvesting back into the business yeah. like into the mission right and that's yeah. how we'll be able to grow that that's incredible and um, and one more thing what i see people is like they invest on tools some months when they are not able to uh, earn or like scale they feel like should i actually uh, deploy like should i actually have systems like example like you have your own saas software or like click funnels or something right who actually yeah. think now is not the time maybe i get like many customers then i'm going to do it what what you want to tell to them uh it is just like building a uh, you constructing a 24 floor building without a strong foundation mm -hmm. okay even as you grow it's going to fall so you need to build a system which is a basic thing because just imagine if you do not if you do not have the infrastructure to store your leads to communicate with your leads through emails if you don't have a website if you don't have a landing page you don't have like email marketing system sms whatsapp how will you build a business even in the future you need to treat your business just like the way that you need to go with a strong foundation build these systems and then look at how you can scale it up and it's a very valid point what akshay is asking and a lot of others are asking that i don't have so much revenues to pay 40 50000 rupees for so many tools so i i struggle upon every month so my, all my earning is going to ads and tools and i'm getting nothing we yes. all have been there and that is the reason uh, for me to build even my pipeline uh, this was built for people like me okay like initial stages so uh, right now the tool what we give for coaches consultants or anybody uh, who wants to build a business as an entrepreneur is just 8000 rupees a month right they get like everything like a website a landing page lms you you name it social media scheduler email marketing system automations you don't need literally anything if you have my pipeline to build the business so find out a resource like that okay they will Absolutely. not come and search for you sit down and research on what are the tools what are the things and also look at not just the tool but the community also okay and if if my pipeline users are there they are the people who will help you again so you need to get into a place where which is economical which is so strong enough it does not mean because it's economical the quality might not be good no, absolutely not it will be great quality plus third one is about look at the founders of that and uh, who are actively promoting that because if somebody is like the face of the business and they're promoting it they own the responsibility of helping you grow your business so that's how even click funnels like did it right huge respect to what russell brunson yes. has done he changed the marketing world forever right it's such an inspiration for anybody building on that way 
so look at how you can do it uh, how you can get into a system that is more that you believe in the vibe that you believe in and uh, most of them were not connecting to other country brands and that's why my pipeline came into existence we said we're going to have indian based like uh, no. people can just connect and get it done so find out reduce your tool cost don't increase it i never suggest that because your over entrepreneurship is not about just earning money it's also about reducing your overheads at the same time increasing your profitability if mm-hmm. you can do that uh, you will never be in a crunch absolutely that's in- incredible and now i've seen like you are into like coaching helping business owners and like you ha- also have your own software also right how do you see the combination of this both working together because i see some people they just do the coaching or consulting right you have both the things um honestly akshay this was not by choice this was by chance okay. <laughs> okay because as i told you i started the coaching community first i didn't have a tool okay okay mm-hmm. there are some software companies who who do coaching to sell the tool but mm-hmm. we are the reverse what we did was we built a coaching community and then everybody had this problem karthik i have to spend like 50000 rupees a month 40000 a month i don't have so much money so that's where i started looking at how can we bring something that is in our control and that's where my pipeline was born and now we have built a community around it so anybody uses it and anybody is like going ahead uh, with my pipeline they become a part of the community and they keep learning the new techniques new automations so it's not just the car even if if somebody takes like a porsche and they try to drive it if they do not know how to hit the top speed right that car is just 50 60 km only it's still going to go in so it's not about just the tool it's also about what you can do with the tool okay i mm-hmm. also give this uh, one example uh, some people think that okay which is better zoho is better this is better my pipeline is better always tell them it's just like sachin tendulkar's bat yeah okay if you if you think that you can take sachin tendulkar bat and hit a century okay you are in the dream world okay so sachin is able to do because he's sachin and he has his bat okay yes. so similar way even sachin cannot hit a century with a crap bat so he <laughs> needs to have the quality of a person and the tool both so i think for you it's not just the tool you need to look at the tool the founder the community and yourself if all of mm-hmm. this align you can build a great business it's like combination of all like you must have the right community you must have the right knowledge you also have to put in the right work and effort and yeah. when you put all these things that's when the magic happens that's absolutely, absolutely true yeah and karthik the next question which i have you is like low ticket versus high ticket i see like 50% of the world telling low ticket is the best like uh, nothing offense to that because i see so many people like siddharth and so many people have done super incredible level 1 level 2 level 3 like level 1 anywhere in between 0 to 5000 5000 to 20000 rupees and level 3 20 to 1 lakh rupees and i have seen in the foreign market people actually telling like high ticket directly go and sell a program which is 2 lakh rupees 2000 dollars 10000 dollars or a mastermind which is recurring like how samovin sells like 36000 dollars quantum mastermind right now both are really successful i am a student of samovin also and siddharth rashekar also right even now i am like both are really good both are having a community of more than 10000 people both have crazy results now whom should i follow and whom should i listen and how should we get started that question even which i have i also have <laughs> <laughs> you know what akshay people are going to love you for this question okay because you just asked what what they want and it's a great question uh, low ticket versus high ticket so my take yes. on it is uh, it's not about just balancing with my answer uh, but honestly i personally believe that's my personal belief is about the approach that you take from your product and service okay now let's say i have a business of elevators the mm-hmm. elevator itself will cost 10 lakh rupees mm-hmm. it's going to cost 15 lakh rupees i am in real estate my property itself will cost 2 crore rupees yes now i cannot go with a low ticket model right. can i mm-hmm. can i go to real estate and say you know what you buy this 20 30 site and tomorrow mm-hmm. i'll get you that 8 crore flat no doesn't work mm-hmm. like that so i think it's industry specific uh, when it comes to products and services you need to pick what works for you specially okay so mm-hmm. even a direct high ticket is a great option 
a direct low ticket is also a great option because end of the day if you look at the structure of a low ticket is where you get people with a minimum amount which is negligible like people mm. just invest to test you it's like a test drive okay you don't go buy a 40 like a 70 lakh rupee bmw without test driving it right you test right? it so you, see it only when we exactly. feel comfortable and safe we you take it. you drive for 15 minutes and even you tell the company you know what give me for three or two hours i want to drive they'll give you yeah. So you are actually testing out. So the low ticket model is not about low ticket. It's about the test drive in the front. That could be a 2000 product, 5000 product, whatever it is. It's just for people to take that blind chance with that. But the mm. moment they take a chance, but when they come into community and they implement those principles, they start looking at result. Hey, this is working. And now what they do is they make the decision to go buy the higher ticket. Mm. Right. So yes. if, if I did not know Sid personally, Siddharth Rajeka, if he had offered me 10 lakh mastermind, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. Right. Mm. But because being in that community with the level one, level two understanding, third level, I got value, I made money. So, and then reached the point that 10 lakhs is nothing to give it back to him because we made multiple crores of rupees from that. I want mm -hmm. so much from ILH system is because for me giving the 10 lakh a month is like hardly anything because that's the kind of revenue that has given me. Okay. So yeah. that is also a way where you can build the trust for a long-term relationship. The second thing what Sam Owens and high ticket consulting works is it works really well for services. Okay. Like mm -hmm. let's say that you want to do a digital marketing service for one year. Okay. How could you take an approach for this? So one approach could be like you sell a thousand rupee course, bring them into it, show them how to design and build their brand a little bit. And then you pitch them, Hey, you know what? You can actually uh, sign up with us and per month, 50,000 rupees retainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yearly six lakh rupee. This person will get more easily convinced rather than you going directly to them. And Some so companies, them and yeah, them. right. But here you need to understand one thing here. I'm talking about a person. The same pitch, if I go and tell a company who is already mm. doing 10 crores that, you know what, you buy my 3000 rupee ticket, 5000, and then you experience and then you buy it. They'll be like, no, because mm. they already have money, right? They'll be like, I don't have so much time for me. Time is money. You show me what you've done for others. If it works, I'm ready to pay you six lakhs together. Mm. Got mm. it. So it's not about the model. It's about your product service and your client. You need to analyze whether this client needs to test it out to buy my higher product or whether this client is already ready and doesn't have time to test out, sit and watch nothing. They want a done for you service. Then you pitch the high ticket. So you need to think as a business owner to analyze these, to actually use the model. My recommendation is use every model that there that works for your business. You decide, you adapt and you implement. That's what is the best way. Just we have to uh, be confident about getting the results for the people. Yeah. Right. Like we have to look into like getting the results. Now uh, that's very great answer. And on the next question, which I have over here is uh, while we are choosing the client, they always tell right as Tony Robbins tells the quality of decisions determines the quality of income, what you make. And it's also said like the quality of clients determines the quality of income what you make and your happiness also right like while we are going i have seen many people they are trying to showcase their offer or like message to a business owner who himself doesn't make the money right at the same time mm -hmm. there is a business owner who makes a lot of money right initially a lot of people try to reach out to people who don't have the money especially for the service right. industry right how mm -hmm. should we basically uh, choose our clients because choosing our clients is very important. It's just like a yeah. marriage, right? Like choosing the right partners and right mm -hmm. line. What is the criteria mm -hmm. like you set if you were to help a business owner hands on, like where you sit with them, you or your team, right? So the good news is, uh, it is not as complicated as selecting a life partner. Okay, that <laughs> much I can tell you surely. <laughs> okay, yeah. that is more complex, but business owner selecting client is much easier. Okay, that's the good yes. news. So how do you select a client is where you understand the needs of that person and where that person has to go. 
Hmm. Okay, so when you speak to a client, let's say you're doing a one-to-one, -one, you're actually communicating. If you do not understand where is that person right now and where that person has to go to, if this person is making 50,000 a month and this person is aiming at making 3 lakh rupees a month, if you do not know this journey right, you cannot decide whether this client is for you or no. Because mm -hmm. you will not know whether you can solve this problem by taking this person from 50,000 to 3 lakh rupees. And the moment you feel, hey, I can do this, then you need to understand that where this person comes from. What's the background? Is that financial paying capacity available? Okay, and uh, some of them tell this, uh, why should the money be there? If you want to help people, just help. Okay, the problem is, if you don't fill your stomach, you can never feed others. Right. Mm. Right? This is the biggest mistake that happens. You cannot starve yourself and try to feed the whole world and say that, you know what, I'm going to help everybody. It doesn't work like that. First is your business has to sustain. If you don't sustain, you're going to go out of the business. So you mm. need financial income to maintain your team, your business and everything. So you need to see whether this person is financially capable to make that investment to get that result. See, I'll tell you, any person will invest as long as that person needs that result, right? Let's say that tomorrow I badly want something. Even if I don't have a single rupee, I will generate that money from somewhere else to make sure that I take it. I'm sorry. Right? So the, the value of that is extremely important. Okay, like uh, you must be remembering that uh, in FBR, okay, such event, uh, the spiritual master okay so he gave an example if I give uh, a Benz or a car that is like for thousand dollars. 80 lakh rupees for 80 yeah some 80 lakh rupees which is for just like 1000 rupees will you all take it yes. everybody is like yeah I'll take it for 1 lakh rupees now imagine if you directly go to this person and ask can you give 1 lakh you'll not give but when they know that they can get a car of 80 lakh for 1 lakh, they will arrange that 1 lakh rupees. Mm. So the value of your product and service that you're going to solve is the ultimate for the person to say yes or no for the price that you're quoting them. If you can quote them right and they feel that you're giving worth of so much and that is so valuable for them, your quote is nothing for them. Absolutely. It's like you more than what you take like the universe even the strangest secret from earl nightingale he also tells in that right like you become a giver the more you give the universe uh, uh, gives you back in return yeah, absolutely right ask yeah and you get and uh, you and like the <laughs> customer yeah. like make your customers happy and your customers will make you happy <laughs> right <laughs> yeah, absolutely because it's a win-win see it's not like they're paying us uh, actually, they're investing on themselves, on their business, and they are going to eventually grow in business. And at the same time, uh, all the experience and expertise, what we have as entrepreneurs, we're just giving it there to them to cut short the learning curve. And they also eventually make, so it's a win-win situation. So entrepreneurship is win-win. It's not like one is making a favor to other. Like earlier days, people used to say, customer is king. And you know what? why that sentence came in I'll, I'll just quickly tell you this yes yes people used to say that customer are king because in before internet came in uh, it was a very small place like one shop mm. used to be there and they could count the number of customers mm. they had only 50 customers in that village okay. so every day they had to bank upon this 50 customers that that's why the customers 50 customers became kings and the retailers or business owners became the serving people now the mm. world has gone so big that the point is the retailers or the sellers are very less in number but the mm. buyers are huge across the world okay so right now there is no logic of saying customer is the king it is a win-win it's not like even the seller is the king but i think it's a win-win situation it's just exchange of value with money with products and services or you're solving problem somebody pays your money and it's a pure exchange of value with each other to make their lives better is entrepreneurship. Absolutely. That's phenomenal. It's like, like if you place your, even Jeff Bezos, he talks in that uh, book, right? Uh, made in uh, America and like what he read from the great uh, Walmart stores, 
like he identified like giving the best value to the customers right like giving the most value yeah and karthik like once after you have gone through so many hurdles problems and like you have crossed to like 5 crores and more like you qualify to tell somebody how they can go super fast from 0 to 1 crore if they have to go from 0 to 1 crore what do you think is the five most important thing they have to focus on is it the offer is it the ads is it the funnels what are the most important things if you turn back again right and if you were to start again from complete rock bottom like like from zero no brand no awareness zero followers but you have some good knowledge with you how will you go about first thing i'll do is not to go fast okay <laughs> okay because uh i believe as an entrepreneur the biggest lessons that you learn is during your initial days mm. okay because when you when you start off you have nothing to lose you don't have a name you don't have an identity you don't have money you don't have yeah. brand you don't have customers so you're not going to lose anything actually so love yes. that moment because you're never going to get it back okay yes, second right. is once you start making that money and you have a name to launch one thing you'll think 100 times oh will this work will this accept will this not accept that's the problem right you see celebrities like big stars to do one movie they break their head on the script a new yes. guy will come like that do a movie and it will be a super hit okay so if you want to take entrepreneurship be the new guy okay don't worry too much on what what happens take it slow love your journey because this journey that you create is going to be the is going to be a history of the future mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. the story that you will tell the world tomorrow so don't go fast don't take shortcuts take the right decisions look at people who've already done it understand and see what they have completed and take the journey so if i had to start from zero today i would still do exactly the same what i've done i would mm. have simply followed one mentor i would have learned from that but my product would have been unique okay i would i would never teach what my mentors sell okay that's not what i want i want to do is learn the formula from them but sell what i believe in and once i start selling that slowly like increase reinvest 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 grow your business to one stable and focus on the profitability okay as an mm. entrepreneur most people do this mistake is they focus only on the revenue they like mm. if i earn 5 lakhs a month that's enough and they'll be spending 4 lakhs on everything correct you can't mm. do that you need to have a minimum profitability overall at least you need to try from 2x to at least 8 to 10 Okay, hmm. anything between that. What is two x is? You invest fifty thousand rupees per month on salary, ads, everything. You should minimum make one lakh in the beginning, reach to making five to six lakh rupees. Hmm. So hmm. every month it's like a think think entrepreneurship like a machine. You put like fifty thousand rupees, you get six lakhs at end of the month. Tell me right. any investment in the world that can give you that much return? Nothing <laughs> is absolutely nothing. Nothing can give you. three times or four times of your investment it's only your business stop looking at other options for investment start focusing on your business invest on your business and Absolutely. multiply that and take it further that's what i would do yeah and you being a bootstrap company like what's your take because yeah. so many people see all these fundings like byju's big big companies yeah. getting billion dollars that physics wala all those things right like if you were to opt after like few months or like few years somebody came and approached Hey Karthik, here is the billion dollars, like for your uh, my pipeline company to scale it up. Will you take that offer, or like you want to be like bootstrapped itself? I will take it. Okay, I'll tell you why. Yeah. See, a company's growth should never be restricting with the founders' ideologies. Hmm. Okay, because the ideologies are right according to the founder, but the brand is bigger than the founder. Hmm. Okay, if you see, Apple is is. obviously bigger than steve jobs and that's why it's sustaining he was the founder but today apple has gone next step so when you start a business you are everything your decisions your ideologies perfect step to go ahead but once you know that this has the capability to go to the world you need to open doors for it mm-hmm. you cannot be that insecure parent holding your child telling no 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 i'm not going to send if i send outside my child is going to get spoiled if i send my business outside it's going to go loss don't have mm. that step is personally what i believe 
that one starting off i believe in the concept i believe in bootstrap for every venture i start and even a new venture which will be like launching in about 2 months from now which is definitely going to be a revolutionary we working on it right now that is also boot bootstrap and lot of people told me that uh, why don't you get funding you already have the brand and if you approach you easily get people fund but i said i want to first make that real idea into reality mm. okay get mm. that initial 500 clients 1000 clients for that business and then i will go into investing if somebody is interested to invest then we'll open up doors for it and after 2 3 years i don't mind stepping down as the ceo bringing somebody more experienced and putting them as a ceo and being the investor and being the growth partner of that brand so i'm not attached to being that person where uh, everything is with me no i would want to let that uh, brand grow and uh, move ahead so uh, brand is ultimate and uh, we are the channel on this journey absolutely like once we have the good brand the money flows the team members flows everything right yeah. and coming down to the team kartik like based on what criteria like you look into if you were to hire someone right because i faced a lot of problems when i was doing my engineering i had 45 interns i had hired from reva university here and there people come and go and it's like something like emotional relationship kind of bond when people leave you we feel like little bit heartbroken like oh my god like they were like so awesome everything right what's your take on that how was your experience building your company like the team <laughs> yeah, okay so let me be very honest do you know what is the toughest work in the world is to manage getting people. the smartest people right to no, it is managing the people yes okay so getting people is one challenge you might still get it through portals linkedin facebook all of that but managing people is will be your toughest thing ever okay so leverage the powers of systems and automation as much as you can mm. okay because that is the way to build a business you see yeah. big businesses never depend on human beings to do few things it's all automated wherever you need humans put humans there okay mm. and next is the future is going towards robotics and everything right so yes. you will naturally see coding and everything in the future probably even doctors and operating could be done by robots in the future so there's a very good uh, possibility to do that but i still love people uh, but the only problem with managing people and building teams i see is about uh, the each person's value system their ideologies and their uh, their preferences are different hmm. so to manage this becomes harder as an entrepreneur for you but you still need people and even for me my team uh, i build a team based on what they want and i pay them good because i always tell that pay pay good enough so that they don't leave you second is get the best out of them so but a lot of entrepreneurs do the reverse they try to pay less they say you need to be passionate okay <laughs> and how will they be passionate okay because money is not coming <laughs> and you're expecting that person to be passionate you can't give them money what they require and then tell them that be passionate and mm. then you make use of it you believe in your business pay them well yeah. motivate them build a strong value system and involve them and give them those leadership roles in your organization and don't sit and spoon feed any on any employees or staff instead delegate a task and let them do it by themselves that's my, that's a practice i do i have a team i have my team who works i'm right now in my studio but i have my office also in the same floor so all my team is still working outside they don't how have to come to me how many team members do you have kartik by the way like to grow yeah. to like such an extent right like more than making more than 5 crores do you have a team of 500 people 50 people <laughs> how many do you have <laughs> see the beauty is about uh, it's not uh, the good news is that your income is not proportionate to your team okay so because even if you have more team you might actually not earn so much so i think it's all about structuring so i have a team member of eight eight member team in house okay like mm. who works with me who are very specific roles i have a developer i have an accountant i have payment collection team and then i have a social media management social media and community manager and then i have a support then i have a graphic designer okay mm. like six mm. people in house working including me it's seven and uh, along with this my development team are outsourced i don't hire okay. my developers instead i go to people who are really excellent i give the project to them i tell them you complete this and give it to me and i give them the ideas i do the user story and all of that over them and when they create the product 
they create it but i market it end of the day i have a dedicated team who does the development so i don't hire developers uh, like uh, like a chief technical officer in house but i have a great team who works in the back end so they are there is easily about some 15 20 people so works that way absolutely that's amazing and now uh, let's go for a rapid round are you ready for it like all one liners two liners yeah <laughs> right yes, let's do it so, yes. yeah uh, what will be your advice how old are you right now currently i cannot tell by age <laughs> <laughs> okay not okay, in my 30s yeah oh, that's right nice. i'm in my 30s now yeah. if you were like yeah. again 20 years right what will be the mm. three piece of advice you want to give to younger karthik who is 20 years right <laughs> my younger self i'll tell first is that i should have earned money okay i did not know the concept of earning money until i was 24 year old okay so i realized that i need to earn money in 24 so i would honestly tell myself when i was 10 year old that the world runs on earning money okay so i did not realize that and second thing i would say is like acquiring the skills faster so all the technical skills that's around you so if you don't acquire it right now you are always going to be late and third one is start early okay like i wish i would have started at least 6 uh, years earlier though a lot of people say that you are you are really young to do what you're doing but i still see people who are 19 20 year old building a million dollar company and billion dollar so i wish i knew at least like 7 8 years earlier what i know so that 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 itself is my three things that's awesome and what will be your top 3 books which you recommend to all the audience who are watching this at real knowledge club uh, rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki okay and second is the cash flow quadrant again by robert kiyosaki uh, which tells about what the world runs on and uh, the third one i would uh, recommend from my side is uh, i love this book uh, psychology of money okay so mm-hmm. I-, i love reading financial books because it gives me a lot of knowledge about finance and controlling that so i think these are my three books but there are some great books like think and grow rich secret all of that but for me personally rich dad poor dad cash flow quadrant and uh, psychology of money yeah that's crazy and does the life partner play an important role in business do we need or like don't like we don't need <laughs> Uh, I don't have a life partner yet, so I'm not married. So I okay. do not know how how they play an important role. Uh, but I strongly believe eventually you definitely need a good a uh, person who can understand your dreams. It could be your friend, it could be you're in a relationship, or your it's your wife, it's your family. But I I think you need that one person whom you can connect emotionally, and you can be yourself to discuss on even the foolish ideas that you get, even if you get some. Ra- random ideas and you share they should that person should never judge you and that person is very important in everybody's life and yeah i do have one person who whom i discuss with so it it, it is important uh, on the overall that's super amazing and karthik like if you were to uh, appreciate like some of your mentors or like your team members whom you have come until now right like can you just name or like tell us like who are they one person so that so others can <laughs> okay that's amazing yeah, siddharth rajshekar he is the only mentor i've literally followed okay and uh, honestly i've not learned okay. from anybody if anybody is thinking i have a lot of mentors no i just have one uh, person that's uh, siddharth rajshekar and with him it's the values that i've learned and uh, the kind of true essence of giving back to the world uh, the true value system with having the income and profitability you make a lot of money you are profitable at the same time really caring for people and building that world where people love you okay so Absolutely. that's something that i've learned and um, i literally say that that's one person who's there on my wall of inspiration also if you come and to my office like, i huh. yeah i have like uh, five people who are there and uh, siddharth is is there on my wall of inspiration wow that's amazing and i highly recommend everyone to Take this yeah. book also. You can coach. It's a great inspiration. And Karthik, like for all the people who are listening, if they want to learn more about like sales automation or like if they like business owner or like someone who is struggling, how they can reach out to you, learn like how they can follow you on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah, they, they can simply go and Google Karthik Naidu, and uh, they'll ra- they'll hit my website, which is karthiknaidu dot in. okay k a r t h i k n a i d u dot in and in my website there's all information about uh, what programs we have and uh, as i told you even the low ticket uh, we just started at 1999 in the initial uh, i want people to 
know the power of what they can do okay it's just 1999 because i want more people to do it and we have hundreds and hundreds of people joining every month okay because i want to educate whole india about how they can really do it and that's why it's a no brainer and uh, even though people tell me that you should be charging at least 10000 rupees and all for that but i'm like let people use it and when they see the value uh, they'll build something so it's a, it's a form of giving back at a very uh, no brainer point so that they can also learn about sales automation because that is something that every business needs to succeed absolutely it was super incredible uh, kartik uh, and like one piece of advice any last advice before like we conclude which you want to tell to all the audience who are watching at real knowledge club summit mm. uh my only one advice uh, that i would give to any entrepreneur or anybody who's watching this is uh just do what you're thinking mm. and that's the biggest challenge people don't do what they think they think a lot they like they get so many ideas so many so many thoughts so many ideas and but they don't implement it i think the world is losing out if if there's something that the world is not 100 years ahead or 500 years ahead from today is only because people did not put their thoughts into action mm-hmm. if people every human being on the earth puts their thoughts into action today okay the the scale at what we can change the world is going to be massive if one elon musk can change the world the way he's working towards imagine the whole planet billions of people how can we really impact what you think first implement that that's my advice absolutely it was phenomenal thank you so much kartik for sharing like your amazing wisdom years of experience i believe all the people who are watching this they have got some great actionable steps and i highly recommend all of you guys to just go ahead take action implement and get massive results make a world a better place to live and thank you so thank much you. Karthik, thank you thank you so much akshay i just want to personally thank you also for having me here online uh, because i totally understand that uh, this is something that would definitely connect with a lot of members with you and uh, thanks for having me here and you're doing a great job i've been looking at how you help people with international clients and other things that you're doing a great tribe that you're building it's not about the uh, size of the tribe or whatever but the kind of true effort to reach out to people to bring for your people is something that you're doing awesome okay because if you had not reached out to me and followed up i would probably not be here to share what i'm sharing so all credits to you thanks for having me here uh, and Uh, wishing everybody the best yeah. thank you so much thank you so much everyone thank you for watching thank you for joining us do like share and subscribe if you guys liked it have a great day bye bye